Every day I read four newspapers. I read the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, USA Today, and the local paper, whatever town that I'm in. In February of 2009, there was an article in the Wall Street Journal, front page, that stated that 89% of what cardiologists do, treatment on you, 89% has no scientific evidence behind what they do. And of the 11% that they claimed that they had scientific evidence was the use of cholesterol drugs and the use of aspirin, which I totally disagree with anybody ingesting both of those singly or together on a daily basis. I'm against aspirin today, and I'm against the cholesterol drug every day. The cholesterol drugs have done so much damage to so many people because of the, the effects they have on your muscles. And I've had a gentleman come into my store from Chicago. He was on Lipitor for seven years and still had a stroke. If you would read about Crestor and, in it, and its advertisement, whether it's on TV or in print or on their website, it says Crestor has not been shown to prevent heart disease or heart attack. So understand you need to be taking charge of understanding how to help yourself with your cholesterol and how to increase the HDL, which has only been proven to be done through niacin. And then you don't want to do the high milligram. I have a perfect balance within my heart and body product of the niacin CoQ10 and all the amino acids and the heart berry things that nutrients that nourish the heart and help with circulation and help with the blockages. So try it for yourself and see for yourself how to get side benefits from, from nourishment versus side effects from drugs that also affect your sexual uh, desires and, and, and having uh, an erection and enjoying being intimate with your loved one. So drugs, I'm totally against. I guess you've gathered that by the time you've been watching me. But this article, Wall Street Journal, Wall Street Journal in February, and I have the articles uh, in my store, I'm gonna have it on my website, where it tells you that 89% of what cardiologists do has no scientific evidence to back them up. What that means is this group does it because that group does it because that group does it. They, they haven't proven why they're doing it, but they're getting a whole bunch of money from it, and you're scared into doing their procedures because you think it has scientific evidence, and it doesn't. So think about using my heart and body product. It's entirely up to you.